G'day, my name is Rob Turney and this tutorial is on how to create refractographs. Refractographs are a photograph of the reflection and refraction of light as it passes through an object. This creates really beautiful abstract patterns and this tutorial is going to show you how to do it in a step-by-step -step process, so please enjoy. First up, you're going to need a tripod to keep your camera nice and steady. You need a camera, any SLR will do, whether it's digital or film, uh, as long as you can remove the lens because it's not needed for this type of photography. Next up, you're going to need something to attach your light source to, uh, whether it's a stand, a chair, a table, whatever, it's just as long as it can keep your light source nice and steady. You're going to need some sort of light source, either a torch or a lamp, but the brighter the better. So I use a little LED Lenser P7 high power LED torch. So you can use something similar or some form of mains powered light will also work well. And for those of you who think a laser might be a good light source, think again. A laser will burn your sensor if you're using a digital camera. This piece of cardboard is used on the front of your light source. And what you need to do is you need to put a very small hole in front of it. I used a pinhole, but you can go a little bit bigger. This is critical to getting sharp images. Having a very small, fine, intense point of light is absolutely critical to the sharpness of your images. Next up, some good old gaffer tape. This is used to attach your light to your stand or your chair, whatever it might be, and also attach the piece of card with a small hole in it to your light source. And the most important bit is your refractive object. This will determine what type of patterns you can achieve in your refractographs. So you can use any piece of glass, plastic, anything that refracts light in any way will produce some sort of pattern for you. Personally, I like to use found objects, so things you find around the house like drinking glasses, marbles or pieces of plastic. But you can also create your own objects through melting plastic together or through glass work. The key thing is to experiment. Find objects that give you the patterns that you like, and if they don't, then move on and try a different object. Lastly, you're going to need some sort of holder to hold your refractive object. You need to be able to keep your object as still as possible during the photograph, but also to be able to move it, turn it and rotate it so you can really find those sweet spots in the object where you get that really beautiful refractive pattern. Next is the setup. What you need to do is take your piece of cardboard, put a small hole in it if you haven't already done so, and then tape it down with gaffer tape to the front of your light source. Then attach your light source securely to a chair, table or light stand. Then set up your tripod and attach your camera without a lens attached. Next, using your holder, position your refractive object in front of your camera. You can do this using a t-shirt, a magic arm or something else that can keep your object nice and still. You need to position your light source between 2 to 5 meters from your camera. This is to make the point of light nice and small so you get really sharp images. The distance will depend on how bright your light source is, so please experiment to find out what works best for you. You need to ensure you adjust your light source so it points directly at your refractive object, and this needs to be at right angles to your camera. Okay, that's very important to avoid any stray light entering your camera. What you really want to do is get all the light going into your object, which actually becomes the lens and focuses the light. Next, you've got to turn off all the lights. Make sure there's no stray ambient light from anything like the TV, lights outside, or any reflections off walls or cabinets or floors. This will actually affect your image. Next thing you need to do is find the nice refractive pattern in your object. You need to turn, rotate, change the position of the object until you find the pattern that you like. This can sometimes take a while, especially if you're not familiar with the object. So just twist and turn it and be patient until you find the refractive pattern that you like. Next up is colouring. There are various ways you can colour your refractographs. If you're making your own refractive objects, you can include colouring when you make them. Or alternatively, you can colour during the exposure. This is the technique that I use and is a form of light painting. I use various coloured gels in the path of the light to get the colouring in my refractographs. Using a long exposure, you can blend different colours together to get new colouring at different positions in your refractographs, as can be seen in my demonstration here. I 
Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to see more of my work, go to robturneyvisuals.com. I'd also encourage you to check out the Refractography group on Flickr. There's a lot of great work on there from people like Alan Jarez, whose work inspired me to take up refractography. Once again, thank you for watching and happy refractographing.